Welcome back to the Colne Valley Postal History Museum. In this video, I'm going to talk about some of the foreign post boxes that we've got in the collection. And next to that lovely post office direction sign from Manchester for Corporation Street, you can see a Swedish post box. That was very kindly donated to the museum by my Swedish distributor, Savine Werner, if you're watching. Hi guys, thank you very much for sending it over. The collection plate also points out that um, the collection times for postcodes in Denmark. So if you want to send letters to Denmark, you've got to address them in the correct way. It's quite funky. We have a number of foreign boxes in the collection, actually. I wasn't really going to collect them over the years, but they turn up and that's, um, that's how you end up collecting them. And I should have mentioned these two AA signs in the previous video as well. Look, Holland on Sea and Great Eastern, both from Essex. Problem is they're everywhere. Even I've forgotten how many we've got. Here's the German one, which we talked about last week, but a better view of it. It should really have a collection plate here, um, but the hinges were missing completely, and I'm not quite sure where we would find a plate for this. But it does actually open at both sides, so you've got postal apertures on both ends of the box. This is one that came from a British army on the Rhine base um, via the Manchester Postal Museum. Let's just come through the gate. Now, the first of the French boxes is actually inside this shed one. So let's come and have a look at that. And it's the one just sitting over here behind the French postman's hat. So let's just take the hat off for a minute. I might even move the head out of the way so you get a better view of this. Here we go. Look at that. Ne jetez dans cette boîte ni lettre pour la localité, ni journaux, ni imprimé. Boîte aux lettres, heure de lever. So what are we looking at there? Do not post in this box letters for the locality, so local letters, or journals, or um, newspapers. This is a tram box. And as you can see there, it was made by Della Chanel of Paris. It probably dates from about 1910. And on the top is a little carrying handle and a lock. And that's because these boxes were locked onto the rear of Parisian buses or trams. And the deal was, uh, last thing at night, you could go out and post a letter into this box if you were at the end of the, po of the bus route or the tram route. And when they got back to the depot, they would take this box off so unlock it from its bracket, take it to the post office and your post would enter the system. And this was a, a good way of getting uh, letters into the postal system quite late in the day. And it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful box. Uh, incidentally, French boxes over the years have been a mixture of green, blue and yellow. So that's why we went with green on that one. Let's just pull out of here and go and look at some others. So if we come up the garden, we have over here some more French boxes. There we go. Look at that. Now, on the right there is the 1912 De La Chanel Pagoda box. Recently restored. It was the one I was working on last week. <clears throat> it's just been given a fresh coat of paint. It's completely cast iron. It's quite heavy. And it's got these very, very nice enamel selector dials inside where you can select the number of collections per day uh, which one is was the last collection and the day of the week very nice beautifully fashioned look pagoda shape scalloped finish to the roof the three next to that are by de joie of nantes and this uh, is now the standard box you'll see all over france we've got three different examples here uh, you can always tell with a Dijois box because they're aluminium. They're quite lightweight. And they normally have a date on them as well. If we just pull this one. Up. So, there we are. Dijois et Company, Nantes 1952. So that's quite an early one for Dijois. Next to it is another dijois but with a collection plate you can see this one's got um an aluminium casting just screwed on la prochaine levée aura lieu voir tableau indicateur 
see the indicating tablet. I presume that that would have been in the office windows. There's nowhere for an indicating tablet to be put on here. Whereas this one clearly has got a um, Eur de Leve table, a table of collections. And again, the same warning, ne jetez dans cette boîte, ni journaux, ni imprimé. So no journals or uh, newspapers to be posted in this box, because clearly they would fill it up. Even the bigger one says the same thing. Collection plates are just screwed on, and they made extensive use of uh, dyno tape for these, in various colours, as you can see there. The French boxes um, seem to have started green and then they went to blue and now they're all yellow in varying states of fadedness. Also yellow are the Swiss postal service boxes. Um, this is a standard Swiss lamp box. Nice big aperture here. Post anything in that one. Very solid sheet steel construction. Could go anywhere. And next to that is a Polish lamp box, again like the German one, with side opening flaps on each side. Uh, this one was believed to have come from Bidgosh, box the polster. And then finally for this section, if we go back into the garage, hiding under this towel, which I should have taken off already for you, but never mind, is a very chunky Spanish pillar box. Now, although it's Spanish, it actually came from Perpignan. And this would normally be mounted on a big chunky concrete base. So there's, there's actually no bottom to this. Um, so the chap who had it in Perpignan had bought it just over the border in Spain and taken it back to Perpignan a few years back, got bored with it, put it on eBay, um, where I bought it and then had to persuade my friend to drive all the way from Toulouse to Perpignan to go and get it. A round trip of some 300 miles. Uh, which sounds like a lot, but then of course I had to drive to Toulouse to get it, which was a round trip of something like 900 miles. So it's well travelled. So that's some of our foreign boxes. If you want to know more, you can go and visit the website at uh, cvphm.org.uk uh, where you'll be able to see a lot more about the boxes and the signs, dates of open days if we ever get to actually have one, and all the other information you need to come and visit us.